down here at Shang Kai Shuk Memorial Hall, and as you can see, the flag is being lowered. So here we're going to be looking at the ViewSonic VBN 108. So that's this netbook right here. So as you can see, ViewSonic has this kind of uh, plastic matte finish, not shiny, but you can probably see that there's some slight uh, grease marks. That's kind of the, the disadvantage to going with um, this matte finish. Now I'm going to be comparing this to the ASUS 1005 that has a, a very similar look and feel. But the biggest difference between these two netbooks is that this one is drastically better. I'm going to explain to you why. They're both around the same price point. They both look fairly identical. So how would you know that this one is far superior to this one? So take a look at these two units. They look pretty identical. Uh, one of the biggest differences uh, for, the, for the screen displays is that the ASUS 1005 is glossy and the VSonic is non-glossy. I definitely prefer a non-glossy finish, especially when you're using it outside. But if we go down to the keyboard, the keyboard on this one is far superior to the keyboard on this one. Right? If you look down here, the keys on these ones, they're very large, very flush, very, fl very flat. Even though on this keyboard, they take up around the same size, they're around 98% um, of the real size keyboard each, but these ones, because they go down, it's, uh, it's just not quite as large for, for typing. You do adapt quite quickly to it, but at the same time, the shift key on this one is quite larger. Um, the way that they've done the arrow keys here, uh, you don't really use up and down that much, so you know, small, small sacrifices like that tend, tend to be quite good. So all in all, this keyboard is much more robust than this one. Now if you look at the trackpad, uh, this is a fairly decent sized trackpad, but if you come in closer, you'll kind of see that it doesn't really, it's kind of hard to click. Whereas if you go over to this one, right, very responsive, very bouncy, very easy, especially on a single mouse button when you have to leverage between the two to go back and forth to click it. That's, um, that's definitely something that you don't want. You don't want this tough, you know, especially on the right hand side. The right hand side is very, very tough. All right, and um, for Windows usability, actually, the uh, 1005 comes out with a Windows rating of 2.5. Whereas the ViewSonic comes out with a rating of 2.3. Uh, they, they're, they're both running the Intel Atom N270, or sorry, Intel Atom N450 punch hole platform. So their CPU is the same. It's just this model is a lot more robust, even though aesthetics, they look very similar. Now this is where, for price point, you'd want to go with the 1005 over the ViewSonic um, 108. Now this has void if seals damaged. Now you need to take you need to take this screw off in order to take off the entire back. So if you wanted to upgrade your RAM, you're actually going to be voiding the warranty of the unit in order to do so. Whereas on the 1005, they have a nice easy access panel to upgrade your RAM because that is the number one upgrade for all netbooks. And this is the deal breaker for me. Why I wouldn't get the 1008 over the 1005. This is a six cell, and this is a three cell. You get about three three and a half hours of usable. Uh, internet surfing time on this model, whereas on this one you get about six and a half to seven. So for the same price, virtually, actually the 1005 is often fairly cheaper, um, you're going to be seeing twice the usability for only a slight increase in weight. So I think we're looking at about 0.3 kilos difference in weight. And as you can see, the 1005 versus the uh, 108 this is uh, much more sleek, a little more tapered, a little more stylish. I mean, so at first glance, these two netbooks, they would look virtually identical. Same matte finish, uh, same processor, but at the, at the end of the day, you're going to want to go with this one with a 6-cell battery over this one with a 3-cell. So, this is Nicole Scott down here at Shang Kai Shek Memorial Hall, watching the sunset and telling you about netbooks.